Good morning. I'm going to walk you through my gamified class for science and nature and then try to show you some of those elements in the gamification class. I have it set up so students have completion rules on here and they got to start right at the beginning where it says start. And I started with a story about how with the rising temperatures of the earth, animals, and other organisms are disappearing, so their job is to collect DNA from some of these organisms so we don't lose them forever. And then that DNA is going to be stored in a global seed vault. This is a real place, but the catch is that the seed vault is only open for nine weeks, and that happens to be how long the course is, so that ties in well, gives it some urgency. And then I ask if they will help with this to collect the DNA from organisms. Then I have them summarize that and then join a group and create a name. And then I just you know, said, what is your name for this adventure? And then the groups I tried to name after explorers. So I did the adventurers, discoverers, explorers, and voyagers. And they got to pick that. So that first part was just trying to establish the epic meaning there. And then my first unit, I did a tundra theme. The first unit is over surviving in nature. So there are completion rules uh, throughout this unit, but students can advance by themselves. So it could be self-paced. I will try to give them you know, expectations of have this done by this day, but they can go through there. So I have them start out with a, them posting a picture of what they think is the most important thing to have in a survival situation and then a comment describing why they picked that object. And then a survival quiz online and I said you know make note of what areas you need to work on for the discussion following the quiz and then like I warned them there is a discussion right after there. So what do they need to work on for survival? What do they already know? And then the first achievement here is they collected DNA from a reindeer lichen. And when I first did this assignment with the, I think it was module four, I kind of, I called this an Easter egg, but I didn't tie it back to the unit. So I did that down here. You know, I put the organism can survive in dry conditions by forming a spongy mat, which holds water to tie, kind of tie back into that survival unit. So that was an Easter egg and their first achievement. Then um, a survival quiz. And then I asked them to have it emailed back to them. And then I want them to post the results that they got from that email. And then some notes that go with their packet it's from a website. And then an assignment where they're gonna read an article and then answer questions on a Google Doc. <clears throat> and then once they finish that assignment, then they got their second organism. So another Easter egg, because I added some information about surviving in extremely cold temperatures. And that is also an achievement, and I'll show you those badges in a little bit. And then there's some notes that we do in class. Uh, they're gonna watch a video about starting a fire and then answer a short quiz at the bottom there. And then I asked them to go back and look at the picture they posted right at the beginning and see if that's something they would still pick knowing what they know or if they would change that now that they possibly know better. Then I have um, the unit test for the kids. They can take it up to three times. After the third time, if they still are not passing, we need to have a discussion. So I have it set up like that, but they, they can replay it if they need to. And then once they've passed that test, they unlock the last organism. So they get to collect DNA from this pretty flower. And then I added the part about how it survives in that environment and that's it for the first unit um, like I said it is surviving in nature and I added that tundra theme to it um, going to badges I made so the these three here are the three badges that go along with the animals or organisms excuse me 
that they collected DNA from so they can get those. Then I did some other classroom ones. I did the check yourself badge, you know, just kind of staying out of drama. Then Totally Tundra, they finished everything in that unit. The dynamic discussions, this was kind of like a secret one because I didn't ask them to add anything else to other people's discussions. I just asked them to do it because we're starting out slow. But if they did that, I'm gonna give them that badge. Um, then I had First Frost just being the first one to complete the unit. Then the survivor, you know, retaking the test to get to the 80%. Maybe they didn't get it the first time, but they got it the second time. Then I have um, winter is coming, so I'm coming to class every day during that unit. And then off the grid, um, sometimes our kids are at school but not in class, and then if they still get the work done, that is a bonus for everyone. So just to acknowledge those kids that get the work done even when they're not in class. So those are the badges that went along with it. Um, at the beginning of this class, I said, you know, a goal of mine was to be get a video in with every unit. Um, I didn't exactly know what this class was about, so I didn't do it, but after I kind of switched my goals, I did get a complete unit done from beginning to end. Um, I took some of the elements that I already had in the class, and then I added some, changed it a little bit, so I was able to get a complete unit right from the beginning all the way to the very end, completed for science and nature. Um, there's five units all together, so I mean, that's a fifth of the class that's already done. So that was my goal after I reevaluated what I was doing. Thank you.